Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about headliners. Yes, headliners is coming. We don't have a loading screen, but we have some more information on some leaks, some player statistics. And yes, we are going to take a look at some player leaks today on those statistics because um, my, my take on the leaks is on this game, we are just kind of conforming to what, what this game has become this year, right? I don't like it. I don't really enjoy the leaks. I miss the element of surprise. But what we do here on this channel is we look at the market, we explain, we analyze, and we predict what is going to be happening on this market inside of this game with content. And these leaks impact a lot of that. So if I'm just ignoring the leaks and not telling you why Mbappe's inform, if you had no idea, has gone from 2.2 million coins down to 1.9 million coins, then uh, you're going to be very confused. So that's why I don't skimp over the details and we talk about everything on this channel. I know some of you guys don't like to be spoiled with the leaks. I totally get that. But in order for me to bring you the best market analysis possible, we got to talk about it. So we are going to look at some leaks today. Um, nothing insane, just some player stats, nothing new from outside of yesterday, except just maybe a, a little bit more of an idea of why this headliners promo might actually disappoint. I mean, we talked about that in yesterday's video some as well, and I don't want to belabor the point at all even more, but I really feel like we might be in a foot versus scenario here again, and I'll talk about that and what that means for the market. Also, re regarding the market today, regarding prime icons, in the rewards market with these winter wildcard items as well. I think prime icons are going to drop today. They dropped last week uh, with the division rivals rewards time frame with the packs that were opened. Uh, I also think that wild cards might drop a little bit today. I, I don't expect some like really big drops. I know a lot of people are wanting to invest in these cards. And I also just kind of want to share my thoughts on these winter wild card items uh, and where they could go, especially if the promo this weekend is not very Good. So we're going to talk about all of that today. Also Thursday content that we are expecting to see on this game. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel and if you're excited for the headliners promo, give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. But let's get into these leaks, right? Because these are leaks. These are supposed stats. Now some of this stuff could change, right? It's definitely not set in stone. This is not 100% true yet right we don't have a loading screen yet i think that's going to be coming out today the cards are not obviously released yet so of course we just take this with a grain of salt but this is why we're talking about this right i do think this headliners promo could disappoint but it all depends on how they plan to upgrade these cards but for some of the boosts that i'm seeing on these cards initially they don't look that insane apart from just a couple items Again, Mbappe here with a plus one, you wouldn't expect Mbappe to have an insane boost, right? But these are the official card stats for him. 99 pace, of course. Uh, that's an upgrade, obviously, over his inform, which does have the 98 pace. So this Mbappe is going to break into a new threshold of 99 pace. He's going to break over 80 physical and over 90 shooting. So this Mbappe is going to be expensive. It's going to be very, very expensive. And if Zlatan Ibrahimovic on this market is 3.3 million coins, then a live 93 rated Mbappe, I have no doubt that this Mbappe is going to be 4 million coins uh, on the game tomorrow. I really don't doubt that unless EA make the pack weight super duper high and supply this card a lot on the market, which I don't expect to happen. I think he's going to be very, very expensive and very, very overpriced. That's just my opinion because it's a live card. It's orange. It looks sick. And he has 99 pace and is the best striker in the game. So those are Mbappe stats. But let's keep going down the list here, right? A couple other cards. Reese James. This looks like a pretty decent card, right? 90 pace, 83 defense, 86 physical. That one looks pretty good. Very nice pace upgrade there. Very nice upgrade on that card from EA Sports. Reese James is one of the like very few cards so far that have been shown that looks like it got a really good boost, right? Reese James looks pretty solid. That's a card that will rival Trent Alexander-Arnold's uh, rule breaker card as a right back in the prem Serge Nabry is another one of those cards that looks really good right this is a solid upgrade for this card 90 pace you got a really nice pace boost besides the pace though uh the rest of this card just got a decent upgrade like a lot of plus twos and some plus threes but having that 90 pace is really solid for Nabry who has been lacking pace both in the past two years in FIFA so that's a nice card for him um Acuna this is the one that is going to get everybody excited this is going to be the most hyped card 
in this promo team. I'm telling you right now, this Acuna card is always a FIFA fan favorite. 86 pace, 90 dribbling. Got a huge pace boost and a massive, insane boost all around on the card. I know it's a live item, but how often do left backs get informs? Not super often, but still... If Sevilla can put some wins together, if we assume that's how they're going to upgrade these cards per usual, this Acuna might look really, really insane. And then there's one other card that I believe was talked about, and that is Virgil van Dijk. And this is, again, if if the uh, Reese James, the Serge Gnabry, and the Marcus Acuna are the best cards, if those are the best cards that got the biggest upgrades and the rest of the team is just lackluster or not good, like this VVD upgrade, then I think the promo is going to be even more disappointing than what we expect, right? I think the upgrades for this promo team are going to be average, except for the ones that we've seen that look really good, like the Acuna, because I think he's going to be the most popular card. But that is, again, why I'm kind of getting this idea that this promo might be kind of an L. And I think people are going to be expecting nice things. Um, you know, maybe there's going to be some panic selling heading into tomorrow on Friday on this market with other people maybe selling some of their cards to try out some of these headliners that are leaked that look pretty cool and stuff like that. Um, but I, I just think this promo is going to be a bit of a disappointment. I really do. And that's why I was mentioning the versus promo uh, a little bit earlier is this versus promo. I, I You guys remember how excited we were for this promo when it came out because of the insane cards that we were exposed to get. But then the actual cards that we received on the game were such a big L the, the market just exploded back after that because the cards that we got were not very hype. Now, we're in a point in the market right now with these winter wildcard items, which uh, this this market has a lot of coins, right? It's a lot time, 3.3 million coins. It's just a great example of this market having a lot of coins. People are willing to pay the big bucks for a card like that with all the lightning rounds we have had in the past two weeks of the winter wildcards promo with all of the people... Um, Getting on the game for the first time, maybe opening saved up, uh, not saved up packs, but FIVA points that they have gotten. Like that's this market right now is just in a place where there is a lot of coins. I know there's been a decent amount of SBCs, but there's also been a lot of lightning rounds and a lot of packs which have supplied the market with coins that you know enables people to go and buy cards off the market. I mean, what what other reason would explain besides just the rarity of this Luka Modric card? Luka Modric has gone up to 800,000 coins from where he was last week at this time, 600K from this Winter Wild Cards Team 1, right? These cards are so good. They've just pushed, again, we talked about it earlier this week as well. They have pushed the power curve up in this game to a new level. Everybody wants these cards. Um, and, you know, I just think they're going to outshine the headliner. So that's why I'm a little bit scared about the headliners promo. Now, our last chance today is that EA Sports put a loading screen out, as I do expect to see one today they would have some more information on how these cards might upgrade more than once. Because again, if it's just like a win streak like last year and previous years for headliners for that streak upgrade that you see, the second card design for, that's going to be disappointing. And that's going to that's gonna fuel the buyback on the rest of the market um, if cards are low at all tomorrow on Friday or, or even today on Thursday as people prepare for this promo. Um, if there's any changes to how they do the upgrades, if they would give a double boost or something like that, that could make headliners a bit more exciting. But at least right now, it seems like it might be disappointing. So that's kind of how we're starting to prepare unless we hear differently from EA Sports. Now, let's talk about the market right now because literally everything on this game is up in price. It is up and is really stagnant, right? A lot of stuff isn't moving that much because I don't think there's a lot of hype for people. Like, there's no panic, right? People aren't scared about the, the uh, headliners promo. They're not worrying about, oh my goodness, insane cards are going to be coming. Most people are just worried about, hey, when do I buy these winter wild cards for my team? Because these guys are the ones I want to use, and they're going out of packs, which creates a very interesting scenario because today at Rewards is one of the time frames where you would think to look for these cards as they are going out of packs, and a lot of people still want to buy them for their teams you know i i just i think there's a lot of people that are going to be investing in these because winter wild cards team one rose so well out of packs last week i just don't know if it's the same scenario for winter wild cards two this week i'm a little bit afraid of over investing on the winter wild cards team number two now i do think that some of them could rise up of course 
um, you know, maybe a card like Lucas Mora or Anthony Martial um, or Genduzzi, right? Genduzzi is one of the most exciting and hyped up cards right now in this game with everybody running with Awar in some League One, like Kaza, those types of players and those types of links. I think Morales is just stupid cheap for the card that he is. Uh, Tierney is the best Prem left back at 47,000 coins. I think that is very, very cheap. Um, Magnan is a French goalkeeper. Special cards, we all know that those rise very well. So I'm on the fence with these cards, man. I really am. Whether it is today, if they drop low today or get low tomorrow morning on Friday, if Headliners is bad, yes, they could rise up a bit. I just, I don't know if it's going to be as extreme as the cards that were in Team 1 of this Winter Wild Cards promo um, because I think there's so many more people that saw the rise on team one and they want to get involved. There's going to be a lot of over investing with these cards. So all I would say is be careful. All it takes again, and this is a risk that we run all the time on this game, but all it takes is EA sports to drop one insane pack, drop lightning rounds, which they didn't do yesterday on a Wednesday, which again is just like aiding in these cards, staying higher in price. And it puts more FOMO for a lot of people, right? They're like, oh my goodness, if I don't buy these cards before they go out of packs, then they're going to go up in price and I'm going to miss out. I think that's what EA is trying to create with not doing lightning rounds yesterday on Wednesday, which we kind of expected. Uh, and for the first week in the, in the month, the last time in a month, basically that since they have not run lightning rounds on a Wednesday, that was very interesting. So, you know, I might buy a couple of these, but I'm going to be very careful unless I, it's going to have to see, I'm going to have to see some sort of drop on these today for me to get, at least think about getting involved at all. Um, and the ones that I would say would move up the most in price would probably be your most rare ones. Um, I know that we have like a couple Premier League strikers like Aubameyang and Odson Edouard that are, that are supposedly leaked as SBCs for coming soon. Um, but this Martial card, I think, is a really good-looking item. I think a lot of people want to try out this card and use him. Uh, I think that Alessandrini... I mean, a lot of the cards that are in this team look primed for, uh, for a bit of a rise out of packs. It just comes down to, um, is there going to be over-investing? Are they going to rise up a little bit and then stop rising in value? Because we do have Team of the Year, like, in three weeks. So... You know, these cards could rise up. I just don't know how insane it's going to be. So I'm going to be careful with these cards. Uh, but I do think today on Thursday, a lot of people are going to be looking to buy these because, of course, it's the last day that they're in packs. People are going to, they're going to have the fear of missing out. They really are because they saw what happened to Team 1. And you're going to see some people investing in these today. I almost guarantee you that. Now, for the rest of the market with rewards, you know, I usually try to trade with some gold cards, but like, Virgil van Dyke is, is a guy that I try to flip on Thursday with rewards, and he is out of packs. Uh, he, now, he's up to, like, what, 46,000 coins or 45,000 coins. He was 39K earlier. Hakimi is another one that I try to flip, but he's in Team of the Week this week. The market is just, it's, it's very high. It's very stagnant, right? Again, we talked about the prime icons. I do think some of the primes are going to drop off in price today. Hugo Sanchez right now, I know it's late night, so these cards are rare anyway. This guy is 1.3 mil. He was literally a million coins flat yesterday. He was a 990K, a million coins flat. He's up to 1.3 just off of rarity. I think that all the prime icons, especially the ones that are in batch two, batch two, the cards that have only been in packs for a few days, I think all these cards are going to drop off today as they get supplied a little bit from Division Rivals Rewards. It happened the first week. I know it's like, Nate, who's packing icons today? Well, it happened the first week with batch one, so I think it's going to happen again this week with batch number two, so be very careful with those. That could create a good flipping and trading opportunity um, with those cards, though. And then again, the rest of the market, you might see some cards rise up and down a little bit today. You know, one of the cards that I like to trade a lot in this game is Phil Foden Rule Breakers, just because he is a very popular card and he moves around a lot. How much is he right now? Is he like 250k? 250,000 coins, 243, so... Like that's up for a card like this. That is definitely up in price. So maybe some of these cards rise up a little bit today as people get coins with rewards. But um, it's just, it's a tough market to trade in and to, to find a lot of deals because everything just seems so high at the moment. And there's there's no real need to sell for a lot of people. They're just holding on to cards and there's a little bit of buying. But, you know, it's very tight margins. And when you have a lot of people that are bored and don't know what to do, they try to make coins and invest. And sometimes that means over-investing, like I mean with the winter wild cards from team number two. So we're kind of being very careful with that. Now, things that we could see today on Thursday 
for this game. Of course, rewards, right? That's going to bring some supply to the market of these cards. Also, marquee matchups. We're going to get another marquee matchup set of SBCs today. We are also due for two, the final two Winter Wildcard swap tokens should be made available today in this game. Now, I don't know if they're going to put another one of marquee matchups, if they're going to do an SBC, but I think that's going to be a part of the content today on this game. I would also... Ex, you know, an icon upgrade SBC, I don't know. I know everybody wants it. I don't, ex I'm not expecting that. I mean, I think it's possible. I'm definitely not expecting it. A player SBC for one of those leaked items that it, like either the showdown between Kovacic or Kieta, potentially. Edward, record breaker, potentially. Again, those are some of the leaks, but uh, we're just going to have to wait to see until those come out um, when they were released. But uh that's kind of what we could see for content today. I'm not expecting a big day. Yesterday and Wednesday was just really, really, really quiet. I mean, there was literally no content except for the brand new Silver Stars, which I actually did end up going and doing because I opened my 85 times 10. And this is just a little account update for the lads. This is how the team is looking. It hasn't really changed much since I got the OR card um, in the team. And I did the Ice Pulisic, if you haven't seen my team in a while. But uh, yeah, this is the squad, boys. And I did the 85 times 10. And basically, all that I got from it was Taremi. I didn't pack anything sick. I got Taremi. I did get eight walkouts. So I got a bunch of 88s. Like I got uh, the Cheeky Kaylor Navas. I got Suarez. I got Holland. Um, I think Verratti might have been in the pack. Uh, I, and I got up some 86s. So, I, you know, Hummels is in there. And that's this Taremi, of course, is in there too. But. It just, I was hoping for something big, but we went for it, right? We, we risked it for the biscuit. So you can't pack anything sick if, uh, if you don't take the chance. So we took the chance with the 85 times 10 and it just didn't do that great. So that's kind of an update on just how it feels right now on the market. Now, actually one other thing to mention, this is another leaked kind of item, but if you saw Edder Militao's price move yesterday on this game, this is actually one of the craziest leaks you're ever going to see. This is not from a legit source, but it caused this card to move. Madrid Zone on Twitter tweeted out a screenshot of Militao's girlfriend tweeting out or on her Instagram story saying that uh, Militao had won the player of the month. My homie won best player of the month in La Liga. So... This is tweeted out by Madrid Zone, and of course, people is like, oh my goodness, the voting for La Liga Player of the Month is over, and so they went out and they stole their Militao. Now, if Militao did actually win La Liga Player of the Month, which I don't think, this is like, the, if you've ever taken a league with a grain of salt, this is the one to take with a grain of salt. Um, I think a Militao Player of the Month, it would be 86 rated. And it probably would look exactly like this 86 rated numbers up Militao, but it would have less dribbling because obviously this card has a very high boosted dribbling stat. Now the player of the month Militao should be 86 rated because it should get a double upgrade off of the 82. Um, but I'm just really wondering, are they going to make it any better in the pace, defense, and physicality department? Because he's probably not even going to have 80 dribbling on that player of the month. But a player of the month SBC should be cheaper than 500,000 coins, in my opinion. So that could still drop Edder Militao's price a lot more, but this would technically be the better item unless they really juice up the stats on that POTM. But even still having the better dribbling, some people might prefer this card. So there could be some more panic selling on this Militao, but I think La Liga Player of the Month would be released. I don't even know if it would be released uh, like today. Either Thursday or Friday is when they release those POTMs for La Liga, but we still have like a week. I think there's still seven days left on the SBC for Vinny Jr. Eight days. And, you know, sometimes these SBCs overlap. We've seen it before, just the way the calendar matches up. Sometimes when they release the voting for the previous month, like Vinny Jr. will probably still be live when they release the Militao Player of the Month uh, since the voting is over. But it just seems crazy that it's eight days. So maybe it's on Friday. Maybe they're not going to announce this reward and award until next week. Um, but I would presume Friday, I guess it just seems a little bit crazy if you're still grinding on POTM Vinny Jr. in the game. But whoever does end up winning, that SBC should be the first of the few player of the months that we see. It was crazy that that, that voting was just announced so early. They might even announce that player uh, if they'd announced it this week. 
before the end of the month. So that's just kind of interesting uh, to think about as well. So it's going to be a very interesting day on this game. It's going to take some big time content, some preview packs, some lightning rounds, a, an icon upgrade SBC. Uh, it's going to take something really, really big on this game to make the market move a lot. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking, and that's what I'm feeling because um, this market is just in a place where it's very stagnant. A lot of cards are not moving in value, as people have nothing to really panic for, right? The promo. We don't have a loading screen. Maybe if we see a loading screen, there'll be a little bit more panic on on some of these cards. But it just at the moment, stuff is very stagnant, right? And it's not very easy to make coins when there is a lot of stagnant things on the market, unless you are looking at very rare cards. So. I don't think there's going to be a ton of movement after rewards today. A couple cards going up here and there. I don't expect anything to boom because nobody really sold cards. And yes, people will be buying after rewards today, but I don't think there's going to be as many since there really wasn't any panic selling. So I'm going to be careful with my rewards flips today. Uh, mostly liquid at the moment, apart for just some fodder cards that we're still continually relisting, hoping to get some lazy sales on, on this game. But... We'll be taking a look at the icon market, I think, a little bit today. Since those cards are pretty rare, we'll be trading with some of those out-of-pack special cards um, and maybe the current team of the week. If you're wanting to look for something at rewards today, uh, check out like Hakimi, Benzema, or um, maybe Kessie's inform during rewards. Like right now, this Hakimi inform is 180,000 coins. He's going to get supplied at rewards. He might dip down to like 130 that's probably a little bit low. How about like 140, 150, right? Then he could potentially rise back up a little bit. Keep an eye on these ones to watches that just got freshly upgraded as well. Uh, Hakimi's back to 380,000 coins after being 340. He's rebounded back up. So maybe some people are motivated to go out and try these cards today uh, as they have got fresh upgrades on some of those live cards. So we're just kind of waiting for that loading screen. I do think it's not quite a guarantee, but it's very, very likely we will see a loading screen today. I'm surprised they did not drop one yesterday because they've been dropping them on Wednesdays for the past few promos. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.